Now, while looking for this patent, I'm going to show you some of these patents here. I'm not going to show you them all because, as you can see, it goes all way, way back. It's underneath my, my coat stand. So I'm going to show you patents until I get to the one that I'm looking for. It relates to that vlog with the uh, uh, squirrel, the red squirrel I filmed the other day. So I thought I'd get it out and get it hung up since it's already completed. But there you are, guys. There's the first one. It's a bee eater. It's a bee painting. I think this is up on sale on eBay, uh, but that was done, I don't know if it's got the date on it, but it's done a long, long time ago, as you can see, when I first started painting. This one's, it's nearly complete. It's not, I wouldn't say it was absolutely complete, but it's just a bit complete. I think I've just got in there a couple of the branches doing this. Some of the, some of the, the barn owls uh, hair in here. Uh, the feathers, sorry, not the hair, <laughs> but I think the, the feathers, I've got some feathers to put in there. So that's another one. This, you've probably seen me umpteen times, I've still got this to finish. Uh, there's about, maybe 30% of these paintings are all need to be finished. But there you are, that's a Highland painting. That's the poacher's cave. And there's uh, the red coats out looking for them because it's just been out poaching, you see what I mean? So they know that he's there, but they just can't find him, so... I've got a barrel he's going to be sitting behind. He's going to be sitting against a barrel. A water barrel, so... That gives you an idea of what's to be done in that. Next! This is a, a great painting that I love, the oyster catchers. I'm going to keep this one out because I'm going to be doing this one pretty soon. There's a, there's a space there, as you can see, and it's been left for a reason because... That's going to have the Bass Rock there. It's a, a favourite scene of mine where I used to patrol with the fishery, fishery board uh, out looking for illegal salmon poachers. So the Bass Rock is going to be there. It's a favourite scene of mine that uh, brings back a lot of good memories for me. So that's why I painted that. Because you used to see a lot of oyster catchers there. So that's to get done. This, this is a complete one. This is a, a red fox that I'd seen down in the cash, the cash of La Cropped, down near Bridge of Allen. I seen this fox in the wood down there, so I had to come back and paint it straight away. This is a famous painting for me, like it's in the quite a lot of my websites. So there you are. That's a red fox painting. Don't know if you can see it with the glass there, but he's in a bluebell wood. So that's a nice one. That's fully framed. That's ready to get hung up. And I think this is the one here. I recognise the frame. Yeah. That's the one, guys. Look at that. That's the red squirrel. That's the one I painted. I painted this oh, a good while back as well, when I was first... I think when I first moved into this place. And I seen the red squirrels for the first time. Um, and I had never seen a red squirrel until I moved here to my my home here so that was what i done i done this painting so this is one of one of the, it's an it's expensive painting it's up in ebay i've got i think this got i've got this up for about 699 pound i think it is so as you see i do i do sell expensive paintings because it's, it's an oil painting but you can see the detail in it look at that you can understand why it's priced at that it's a one-off and it's the original. There's so much detail in it. So that's the one I wanted to rake out. This is why I was going through some of these paintings and guys, as you know, this isn't this isn't the the lot of my paintings. Right, I'll just show you one more since this is behind here. And this is a a mountain here, and amongst the heather. This is still to get framed, but this is fully complete. I done that in 2013, so not long after I'd moved in here. I think I moved in here in 2005. But there you are. That's a, a mountain here. He's molten, that's why he's not completely white. He's gone between 
white and the brown. That's a molten mountain here. Lovely, eh? So that's to get framed. I need to get a frame for that. A lot of these paintings I forget about because they're all in, hidden behind here. But this is the one I wanted because I want to hang this up in my wall. I want to hang this squirrel up in my wall since I've done that bit of filming. <laughs> right guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, that wee bit of uh, painting hall there. The only reason I did it is because I was looking for this. So, he's going up on the wall. He brought back me, he's bringing, going to bring me memories of me filming that red squirrel there. And the other one I've seen, so. As promised, I showed you them. <laughs> hey, and there's the you know yourself. I've got them behind my bed, under my bed. I've got them behind cupboards. I've got them in cupboards. I've got them, you know, in, uh, in the living room at the back of the, <laughs> the other desk. So, I've got paints everywhere. Next. I'll need to make room for them, guys. I think I might put them up there. Yeah, I might put them up there. But as you can see, I've got a gallery of paintings. I could put them up there or up there. I've already got a salmon one up there, that's still to get finished. But there, there you are. That's a space already made for them. Right guys, good news, I've just sold another painting which is great to pay the bills, so let's have a look at it. Right guys, here's the one that's sold. This is a letter I got for eBay. Yeah, £25 I got. Uh, sold it to the buyer. Here's a better picture of the painting, guys. Now, you know I sold that one. The, the leopard. I'll show you that first. You know, I, I sold that one just, just, I think, two days ago. And this one sold today. I got the letter for eBay, as I said. Spin and spin and spin. There it is. That one, it sold for 25. It was advertised for 34, but the buyer asked me if I wanted to sell it for 25, and I said, well, why not? So there she is, she's off. Joanna is off to, I don't know yet, the buyer's not came back to me yet, so, yeah. Let's go and get that painting, guys. As you can see, it's early in the morning. <laughs> She's in here. You've probably seen her before in some of my vlogs. There she is. She's on the wall. She's the one I chose to put in the painting. In the frame, sorry. She's above my fireplace, next to my desk. So she's off. She's been sold, so I need to get a new one to replace her. So let's get her down. Where can I sit these to get this down? Uh, yeah. Yep. Again. There. Get it down for you guys. <laughs> I 
Let's go. Got her. <laughs> Got to take her out of the frame now. It's not a major task for me. Me being an artist. <laughs> they are down here. We'll get some lights on in here. Give me a minute. Right guys, we'll just put the light on. Got my spotlight here. Just to switch it on. <laughs> now we have light. I'll sit you on the tripod here. Show you first. I'm going to take the paint out the frame so I can send it off to the buyer. So we'll just sit you on the tripod. So that I've got two hands. <laughs> Adjust it. So you can see what's going on. This frame, I probably explained to you guys in a previous vlog, this frame cost me £89.99, nearly £100 for this frame, it's a £100 frame, so uh, this is my own personal frame that I got for framing some, I've got another one bed in there, I've got two at the time, one was for a tiger and one was for a uh, mountain lion. So you've probably seen them. So anyway, let's get this out of here. It's just a simple task of bending back these uh, staples and slipping. Can you see that? Yeah. Right. And slipping the painting out. Tight, which I like. There you are. My name's on the back, Joanna, and she's away to get packaged. So we'll have to. Sorry, guys. You're on the tripod now. So we'll have to get a replacement for Joanna and put it in the frame. So it goes, it goes on my wall, so I've not got a bare wall. But anyway. Let's go and try and find another painting. I'll put this over on the table there so I can package it away. The buyer's still to send me a details of address, so hey, once that's done, this is going off to wherever. I suspect I'll be, I'll be down, down in England somewhere. <laughs> that's where a lot of my paintings go. Anyway, next. Let's go and get that paint. I may as well take his room, eh? Let's go then. Just getting round the light. This will be a nice surprise for you there. That was the paint I took out before I put Joanna in, the Puma. That one there. So he's lying there, ready to go back in if I if I choose so. Yeah, but let's go and see. There's a pile of paintings over here. And we'll sit you down there a minute until we get them out. You know where I keep them. Let's have a look through these. Put them on the floor. Better on the floor for these. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. That's a nice one. What about this one? That one. Let's have a look. I think I'll put this one in. Yeah, we'll put a guy in for a change. Right guys, as you can see, it's a rainy day outside, so it's a day for the flat. <laughs> a box of my silver plate waiting to get listed. Right, let's go. Here we go. It's just a simple, simple fact to just slip it in. Yeah. That one's ready to get listed. Right guys, just a matter of slipping that one in like that. I think I've showed you this, this method before. There you are. Great for it. That's a, that's a good thing that all these paintings 
These portraits are all the same size and just push those uh, tabs down. I've got a gun to do this but uh, sometimes when you do this for a wee while it will, the tabs will break and I have to replace them so I have got a gun for it. I'll show you my gun. May as well. I've got that much things to do. I'll show you, I'll get my gun first and I'll show you the gun. Handy. Yeah, it's handy here, I think. Yeah. Look, guys. That's a tab gun. That's a, that's the gun. There's the tabs. If I ever need them. And I bought a brand new gun. Uh, I think it was last summer. I bought, I bought it. So, there you are. I don't need to take that out. I've got loads of things to do. You'll probably see it another time when I'm framing something, but there you are, guys, look. That's him in. So let's go and put him back up. What a power, eh? But it's got to be done. And then I can maybe sell this one. Because <laughs> people see, see them in the vlogs, you see, it's a, a bit of PR as well. Because then, if they see them in my vlogs and they see it for sale, they'll want to buy it. Right, there he is. Isn't he lovely? So anyway, let's put you back again. Let's put you back. So you can see me putting them up. It's a good job I'm tall. What do you think of that? Now that's what I call replacing a painting quick. <laughs> Lovely, eh? Next! I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> right guys, I hope you enjoyed that different vlog there. <laughs> Hunting for that painting. I had to get it though, so the next vlog you'll probably see me uh, fixing that painting up and getting it on the wall and I'll show you it on the wall I have to get it up, <laughs> I have to have the memories so until next time I'll say bye 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 what a blather <laughs>